St. Louis Senior High School. And at the Saddell College. Let's, let's meet the contestants. Ebuakwa State College is represented by Akumia Adukojo. And Ofori Esurifi Andi. So, Kojo and Andy, tell us, how has the journey been so far? So, um, we met um, KJB and Otibuat in the preliminary stage, and we qualified to this stage. And today we pray that the Lord will help us so that we win this competition. I wish you all the best. St. Louis Senior High School, represented by... Faizat Umbo Abu Sufyan. And... Innocent Philippa Efriye. Philippa and Faizat Tell us, how has the journey been? Um, the journey has been good. By the grace of God, we met Ola girls and... Um, yeah, we met Ola girls and... You qualified. Yeah. So what should we expect? Our best. Our best. Okay, I wish you all the best then. Thank you. Adisadel College, represented by... Yanka Michael Kwesi. And... Adepachamia Benedict. So, Michael and Benedict. So, Adisadel is the seeded school in this contest. How... I'm still sure talking Michael and Benedict, tell us, how has the preparation been towards this year's competition? The preparations has been okay by the grace of God, and others have labored and we share their glory. And it's time for us to do exploits. And the best of all is that God is with us. With, with, with all the noise, I didn't hear what you said. But I wish you all the best. Okay. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Girl PLC and supported by Joy News, AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pep Student Toothpaste, Better Mold, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cow Bell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont, Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. I am Dr. Anita upon your Christmas dress, and this is a primetime production. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has five rounds. I'll start from round one, and in round one, the question goes to each school, and you have 10 seconds or 30 seconds within which to provide an answer. The question is for you, for each school. So take your time to give your answer because answers should be on one attempt, one attempt only. I will not take two answers. If the answer you provide is correct, the school gets a maximum point of three. If it is incorrect, I may pass the question on for a bonus. That's when the other two schools can press the bell for bonus. If you give a correct answer, you get a bonus point of one. An incorrect answer, a deduction of one point. As I've been saying, the points are very, very precious. So mind you when you are given your answers. 
For this round, I will start from Ebuakwa State College. Ebuakwa State. Find the impedance of a circuit. Sorry, find the impedance of a series RC circuit with R equals 70 ohms, given that the reactance of C is 240 ohms. Yes, Andy. Go on. 250 ohms. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> St. Louis Senior High School. The impedance of a series RC circuit is 65 ohms at a certain frequency. Find R if the reactance of C is 25 ohms. Yes, Pfizer too. 60 ohms. That is correct. <laughs> Addis Adel College. Addis Adel College. Find the impedance of a series RC circuit with R equals 12 ohms, given that the reactance of C is 5 ohms. Benedict. 13 ohm. Yes. <laughs> A preamble. Give the name of the specific type of bond formed in the given description. Give the name of the specific type of bond formed in the given description. Ibuakwa states, a pair of electrons are shared equally between two atoms of dif two different elements. Yes, Covalent. Andy. Covalent bond. No. Yes, St. Louis. A pure covalent bond. Yes. <laughs> St. Louis Senior High School. A pair. A pair of electrons are shared between two atoms of two different elements with the same electronegativity. Yes, Pfizer two. A nonpolar covalent bond. Yes. <laughs> Addis Adel College. A pair of electrons are shared between two species of which the donating species has a higher electronegativity value than the other sharing species. Polar covalent bond. Incorrect. <laughs> St. Louis Senior High School. Dative covalent bond. Yes. Another preamble. Oh. 
Another preamble. A stivation is the mode of arrangement of sepals and petals. State the type of a stivation to which the following description refers. I'll give the preamble again. A stivation is the mode of arrangement of sepals and petals. State the type of a stivation to which the following description refers. Ebuakwa State College. Sepals or petals overlap the next sepal or petal, and the same continues in a hole. Example in cotton. For a bonus, okay, I'll give the answers at the end. St. Louis Senior High, the margins of sepal and petal overlap each other randomly and not in any direction. Example in Casia. Marginal estivation. No. Well, bonus. <laughs> Addisado College. The largest petal overlaps two petal or wings present laterally on both sides, and that overlaps two interior petals known as Q in the same way. Example in beans. Yes. Velvet estivation. Velvet. No. For a bonus. So the first one is twisted. The second one is imbricate. And the third one is vexillary. Another preamble. Solve the trigonometric equation for x in the interval x greater than pi over 2 but less than pi. Solve the trigonometric equation for x in the interval x greater than pi over 2 but less than pi. Ebuakwa State College. 2 cos x plus 1 multiplying 2 sine x minus 1 equals zero. Yes, Andy. So we have a fraction five pi over six and 2 pi over 3. Yes. <laughs> St. Louis Senior High School, 2 cos x plus root 3, multiplying 2 sine x minus root 3 equals 0. Yes, Pfizer two. It is pi over three or pi over six. Incorrect. Ebuakwa State. We have a fraction five pi over six and Two pi over three. Yes. Addis Adel College. Tan x plus one multiplying tan x plus one over root three all equals 
zero. Five. It's on, speak. It's on. Ah. X is equal to five pi on six, or X is equal to three pi on four. Yes. Another preamble, a uniform object of mass 2.50 kilograms has moments of inertia 1.80 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilogram meter squared about an axis AA prime passing through its center of mass. Find the moment of inertia of the object about an axis parallel to, but a distance d from a a prime, given that, I'll take it again. A uniform object of mass 2.50 kilograms has moment of inertia 1.80 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilogram meter squared. About an axis a a prime passing through its center of mass. Find the moment of inertia of the object about an axis parallel to, but a distance d from a a prime, given that Ebuakwa states, d equals 0 0.0200 meters. Yes, Andy. We have one point four four by ten to an exponent negative seven kilogram meter squared. Why? Incorrect. Yes, yeah, St. Louis. Two point eight zero by ten exponents, negative three kilogram meter squared. Yes. The reason why I take my time to go through my rules before we start, so that you pay attention. You did not listen, but you know what you did wrong, right? Okay. St. Louis, D equals 0 0.0400 meters. Philippa. 5.80 by 10 exponents, negative 3 kilogram meter squared. Yes. Addis <laughs> Adel College. D equals. 500 meters.
8.05 by 10 exponents minus 3 kilogram meter square. Yes. Ebuakwa State College. Calculate the pH of a buffer system composed of 0 0.89 moles per decimeter cube of a, sorry, of a weak acid of Ka 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 5 and 0 0.089 moles per decimeter cube of its salt. Yes, Andy. Six point zero. Incorrect. Yes, Saint Louis. Four point zero. Yes. <laughs> Saint Louis SHS. St. Louis SHS. Calculate the pH of a buffer system formed from 0 0.0027 moles per decimeter cube of a weak acid of Ka 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 and 0 0.27 moles per dm cube of its salt. Philippa. 6.0. Yes. <laughs> Adisadel College. <laughs> Calculate the pH of a buffer system composed of 0 0.015 moles per decimeter cube of a weak base of Kb 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 and 0 0.15 mole per decimeter cube of its salt. Nine point zero. Yes. A preamble. Evaluate the given limits. Evaluate the given limits. Ebuakwa State College. Limit of the expression with numerator x cubed plus eight, denominator x plus two as x approaches negative 2. Yes, Andy. 12. 12. St. <laughs> Louis. Limit of the expression with numerator x cubed minus 27 with denominator x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Philippa? 27. 27. <laughs> Addis Adel College. Limit, limit of the expression with numerator x cubed plus 
125 and denominator x plus 5 as x approaches negative 5. Yes. 75. 75. The last set of questions for round one. And let a preamble. State the type of synapse or synapse to which the following description refers. Ebuakwa State College. Where the axons of two different neurons meet. For a bonus. Okay. St. Louis Senior High School. Where the axon of one neuron terminates on the dendrite of another neuron. It is dendritic synapse. No. For a bonus. At the Saddle College, where the axon of one neuron attaches to the soma or cell body of another neuron. <laughs> For a bonus. Yes, those who have been making noise, I'll call you. I should call you to answer. So the first one is axoazonic synapse. The second one is axodendritic synapse. And the last one is axosomatic synapse. And that ends round one. So I have certain uh, petitions here I need to address. The first chemistry set of questions where they were to give the type of bonds. So the consultant said no partial credits. Either you get the answer or zero. So um, this is from Ibuakwa State. Yes, you mentioned covalent bond, but he said all or nothing. All right. Then this is from Adisadal College where they were to state the specific type of bond formed. So the question said donor atoms. And, <laughs> and the answer you gave me was polar covalent bond. Learning moments. So for polar covalent bond, the bond is don the electrons are donated by both, both atoms. Okay? And then one draws the electrons towards itself. But for dative covalent bonding, the donation is done by only one atom. Is that okay? So it is a dative covalent bond. All right. So I'm sorry, I, I can't give you the points for that. So at the end, at the end of round one, Ebuakwa State College, 10 points. Addis Adel College, 15 points. And St. Louis SHS, 19 points. We move to round two. We move to round two, the speed race round, known as the PEP student speed race, where the questions go to each school so it goes to all the schools at the same time. It's not each school, at the same time. And the first to press the bell to give a correct answer, three points. The second to press the bell to give a correct answer, two points. The third to press the bell to give a correct answer, one point. But mind you, if you give an incorrect answer, a deduction of one point. If you ring the bell, and you let three seconds elapse 
without giving an answer, you hear this bell and you get a deduction of one point. Are we on the same page? Okay. So, the points are precious. So, mind how you answer. The speed race is sponsored by Pepsodent Toothpaste. Every smile matters. Speed race question number one. Find the magnitude of the normal force on an 8.0 Newton object at rest. Yes, Ebuakwa says. 4.0 Newtons. Incorrect. <laughs> at rest on a rough plane inclined at 30 degrees, St. Louis. 6.9 Newtons. Yes. Next question. Please. Please. Please, if you continue like this, please, if you continue like this, they will not hear the question and they will give wrong answers. All right. Question two. Find the energy of the photon emitted in an atomic transition between levels of energy, negative 5.14 electron volts, and negative 3.04 electron volts, expressing your results in joules. Addis Adel College. 3.36 by 10 to the power negative 19 joules. Yes. Next question. <sighs> Next question. The activity of a radioactive specimen decreases from 64 megabecquerel to 1 megabecquerel in 21 seconds. What is the half? I decided Four point. point. Two seconds. Yes. Mm. Next question. Next question. Next question. Mm. Next question. Aluminium nitrate commonly exist as the crystalline hydrate, aluminum nitrate non-hydrate. Non Determine the molarity of 15 grams of aluminum nitrate non-hydrate dissolved in 80.0 centimeter cube of solution. Answer is 0 0.50 moles per decimeter cube. Next question. Determine the volume occupied by 3.0 moles of an ideal gas at 4. Hmm. Yes, Michael. 67.2 decimeter cube. No.
Mm. At 400 Kelvin and 200 kilopascal. Yeah, it's a Buakwa State College. Fifty meter cube. Incorrect. Saint Louis. It is four point nine eight meters cube. Incorrect. <laughs> Ebuakwa State, you almost had it. So it is 50 decimeter cube. You said meter cube. Next question. A steel room contains 1,200 ppm of carbon monoxide. What is the, what is the percentage concentration of this toxic gas? Ebuakwa State College? 1.2%. Incorrect. St. Louis? 120%. That's incorrect. Addis Adel College? 0.12%. Yes. Next question. Next question. What is the function of tassels on a corn cob? Ebuakwa says the tassel is the male inflorescent of the corn and it produces pollen grains onto the female flower. No. So if it was round one, I probably would have given you one out of three. But it is very light, okay? So what it does is to disperse the pollen grains. The dispersion, I was looking for the dispersion. All right? Okay. Next question. What process makes the major difference between C3 and C4 plants? St. Louis. Philip, hold on. When you press the bell, leave it. Please, go on. The, the process is... Photosynthesis. Incorrect. That is incorrect. The main difference is the way they fix the carbon. That yeah. is in the carbon fixation. That is the main difference. So in C4 plants. No, no. It is photorespiration. Next question. Name the chemical that is used to remove carbon dioxide gas most effectively from a control apparatus during a photosynthesis experiment in the laboratory. Ebuakwa states. Aqueous calcium hydroxide. Incorrect. Adisado. Calcium oxide. No. So it's a, it's a solution of potassium hydroxide. Next question. Find the stationary points or points 
of the function y equals the square root of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 8. At this adult college, so the stationary point is 0, 2 root 2. No. St. Louis Senior High School. 0, 2 root 2 and 2, 2. Yes. In the direction of the vector A, giving us I plus root 3J and a magnitude 10. St. Louis. It is 5I plus 5 root 3J. Yes. The last question for round two. If you make noise, they will not hear me. Okay, thank you. The last question for round two. A, B, and C, D are caught in a circle intersecting at the point E inside the circle. If the length of A, B, A, E equals 20 centimeters and the length of B, E equals 9 centimeters, the length of C, E equals 30. Yes. 6 centimeters. Yes. <laughs> and that ends round two. So... I have a petition here that I need to address. The physics question, the third physics question, um, the answer provided by Addis Sado, it's incorrect. to cancel that question and give a different question for it because because the solution I had matched with this if I had the correct answer the other schools would have had the opportunity to answer that question so I am canceling that question to give a new question So, so, the question goes, give the absolute temperature to which the density of water is greatest. 
Yes, yeah, Saint Louis. It is two hundred and seventy-seven point one six Kelvin. That is incorrect. Addis Two hundred and seventy-seven point one five Kelvin. That is incorrect. Two, two, three significant figures. Yes, Ibuakwa State College. 277 Kelvin. That is correct. That ends round three. At the end of round two, Ibuakwa State College, six points. Adisado College, 14 points. And St. Louis Senior High School, 25 points. <laughs> round three. Round three. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. The star seeks to reward a school that is able to end a perfect score of 10 out of 10. The star at this stage is worth 2,400 students to the team. So the problem of the day is a complex question that the contestants have four minutes to give a solution on the interactive screens behind them. Then after the four minutes, I will grade your solution, give the solution by the consultant, and award the max. The NSMQ star is sponsored by Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for every life, for every future. Please go to the whiteboards on your screens. And put your pens down, face the audience, and pick up the round three. Yes, pick it up. And let's go through the problem of the day. It's from physics. A projectile is launched on level ground with a speed of exactly 40 meters per second at an angle theta to the horizontal. Assume local gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. One, find the vertical and horizontal component of the velocity of the projectile for theta equals 30 degrees. Two, find the greatest height above ground the projectile attains for theta equals 30 degrees. Three, for theta equals 15 degrees, find the horizontal distance the projectile covers when it attains its highest point. And D, find the greatest horizontal range the projectile can attain for the given launch speed. This is the problem of the day. Contestants, you have four minutes. We have the solutions from our contestants. Let's go through the solution from the consultant. A projectile is launched on level ground with a speed of exactly 40 meters per second at an angle theta to the horizontal. Assume local gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. One, find the vertical and horizontal components of the projectile. Velocity of the projectile for theta equals 30. So the vertical component is Uy equals U sine theta. And that should be 40 meters per second times sine theta. And that should give you 20 meters per second. Then the horizontal component ux equals u cos theta, and that is 40 meters per second times cos 60 degrees, and that should be 20 root 3 meters per second 
which is equal to 35 meters per second. Then two, find the greatest height above ground the projectile attains for theta equals 30 degrees. So that is giving us u y squared over 2g, which is equal to the u squared sine squared theta over 2g. And that should give us 40 meters per second times sine squared 30 degrees, all squared, divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So our h is 20 meters. The time, find for theta equals 15 degrees, find the horizontal distance the projectile covers when it attains its high, highest point. So the time to the highest point is given as t equals u y over g, which is equal to u sine theta over g. And the horizontal distance covered in that same time is u x multiplying t. So that should give us the formula u squared sine 2 theta over 2g. And that equals 40 meters per second all squared, multiplying sine in brackets 2 times 15 degrees, all divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second. That should be 41 meters. Two, yes, I forgot, two, two significant figures. The answers should be two significant figures. Then four, find the greatest horizontal range the projectile can attain for the given launch speed. The greatest horizontal range is attained for theta equals 45 degrees and equals R equals U squared sine 2 theta over G. And this since it's sine 90 becomes 1. So therefore, u squared over g, and that should be 160 meters to two significant figures. Now the solution from our contestants. Ibuakwa states they were able to find the vertical components, so they get two there. They were not able to get the horizontal component. They didn't work on it. Then number two, they were not able to work on number two. Number three, they started, they wrote the formula for it, but they didn't get the correct answer. Then four, the same. They started, but didn't get the correct answer, so they get four out of ten. So, St. Louis SHS. So, for question one, you were able to attain the vertical component, but for the horizontal component, two significant figures, you missed that. So, they get one point for that. The same for question two and three. So also one point each, you miss the answers. So one point each, making five. Then question four, the same. But you didn't finish the question four. Um, or let me say the answer you provided is not correct. So plus one, they get six out of 10. <laughs> At this adult college, you gave the correct answer for the vertical component and the horizontal component. So that is two, two each, so four. Then you did the same thing. Two significant figures. I'm surprised because you did it for one, uh, the first part, but you forgot in the question two and three. So you also get one point there, one point there. Then question four, you didn't get the correct answer, so one point, so it should be seven. But, but, but I am taking one point from all of them because I have said it many times. You cannot write an equation and forget your units. St. Louis started with that, but along the line, they were like, uh, it doesn't matter. It matters very much. And the consultant was very keen on this. I've mentioned it before. So at the end of, 
Uh, so Ebuakwa State will get three, St. Louis will get five, and Adisada will get six. Out of ten. And that ends round three. Before I give the results for round three, um, I missed something on the Addis Adel College. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the, the horizontal, the horizontal um, component of the velocity, they gave, they wrote 35 meters. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be 35 meters per second. So, yes. Um, so Addis Adel gets 5 out of 10. Yes, we, we have to be accurate. Please, can I go on? Please, can I go on? So, it seems there is a misunderstanding. The one point I deducted from all of them is for this. When you are writing out an equation, what's on the left should be equal to what's on the right. You cannot write 2 times 5 and write equals 10 meters per second at the end. Where did the meters per second come from? So maybe if you are multiplying 2 meters by uh, what is it, 5 per second, then you get to the 10 meters per second. It is key because Equations, what's on the left should be equal to what's on the right. That's why I deducted the one point. And I'm deducting another point from Addis Adel because the unit they gave for the horizontal um, component was wrong. That is the explanation. So at the end, at the end of round three, Ebuakwa State College, nine points. Addis Adel College, 19 points. And St. Louis Senior High School, 30 points. <laughs> Round four. Round four. So in this round, statements go to each school. If you make noise, they won't hear me. Okay. So each school gets a statement. And you have 10 seconds to tell me whether the statement I made is true or false. A correct answer. Substitution. Substitution, yes. In Buakwa State, we have um, Jephthah coming in for Andy. Sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> okay, so round four, statements go to each school and contestant. You have 10 seconds to tell me whether the statement I made is true or false. Correct answer, two points. Incorrect answer, a deduction of one point. You may choose not to answer, for which that statement is passed on for a bonus. And the first out of the two schools can press the bell. To, if they give a correct answer, two points. If it's incorrect, a deduction of one point. I will start from Ebuakwa State College, but it's a preamble. The focal length of a spherical mirror is negative. Ebuakwa State College. The mirror is a concave mirror. False. It's false. St. Louis. The radius of curvature of the mirror is negative. Yes. True. It's true. And it's at our college. The mirror forms a virtual image of a real object placed anywhere in front of it.
False. Yes. No. <laughs> Next. Ebuakwa State College. Please, please, I beg you. Let's continue, okay? Thank you, please. Ebuakwa State College. All carboxylic acids contain a carbonyl group and a hydroxyl group attached to adjacent carbon atoms. Jephthah. False. It's false. St. Louis. All carboxylic acid acts as weak acids. True. It's true. <laughs> Adisadel College. Adisadel College. All carboxylic acids form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. True. It's true. Ebuakwa State College. In higher plants, continuity of cytoplasm from one cell to its neighboring cell is established through apoplast. True. No. St. Louis. In higher plants, continuity of cytoplasm from one cell to its neighboring cell is established through leucoplast. False. It's false. <laughs> Addis Adel College. In, in higher plants, Continuity of cytoplasm from one cell to its neighboring cell is established through simplast. False. No. The following is a vector quantity. Ebuakwa State College. If you make the noise, they will not hear me. Hmm. A preamble. The following is a vector quantity. Ebuakwa State College. Impulse. True. It's true. St. Louis, angular speed. False. It's false. <laughs> Adisa Dow College. Adel College. Bearing. Yes. True. No. Another preamble. Let's go on. Okay. So a preamble. Do you hear me? Hmm.
A preamble. A preamble. A preamble. Oh. <laughs> A preamble. An object is at rest on a smooth plane inclined to the horizontal at angle theta. Ebuakwa State College. The object is at rest because friction acts up the plane. False. It's false. St. Louis. There is no friction on a smooth plane, so the object can only be at rest if theta equals zero. False. False. <laughs> Addis Adel College. Adisadel College, there must be a force on the object other than gravity or friction whose component parallel to the plane does not equal zero. Benedict. False. No. College, Ebuakwa State College, Ebuakwa State College. Your statement is an ice cube melting in the hand is an example of an exothermic process. False. False. St. Louis. The evaporation of water from a sugar solution is an endothermic process. True. True. Addis Adel College. The rusting of iron is an exothermic process. False. No. Another preamble. Another preamble. Another preamble. The given food constituents are completely undigested when they reach the stomach of humans. The given food constituents are completely undigested when they reach the stomach of humans. Ebuakwa State College, starch and protein. False. Yes, false. St. Louis, cellulose and fat.
Into the microphone. True. True. Adisadel College. Fats and starch. False. Yes, it's false. The last set of statements for round four. The last set of statements for round four. A preamble. The following is a linear transformation. The following is a linear transformation. Ebuakwa State College. T of XY maps onto X plus Y, comma, X over 2 minus Y over 3. False. No. St. Louis. T of X, Y maps on to 2Y, comma, 5X minus 3. False. Yes, false. Adisadel College. Adisadel College. T, do you hear me? Okay. T of X, Y maps onto X minus Y plus 2, comma, X plus Y. Two. No. And that ends round four. Round five. At stake in this round is the Gore Redo Bonanza, which will reward a school that solves three or all four riddles correctly. At this stage, if you are able to solve three riddles correctly, the school gets 1,200. Whilst if you solve four riddles correctly, the school gets 1,006. See this. So in this round, please, 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 we are almost done. So let us finish, and you can jubilate all you want, please. All right. In this round, I'll be reading a set of clues, and you can stop me at any time when you think you know what I'm referring to. If you give a correct answer while someone, clue number one, the school gets five points. Clue number two, the school gets four points. Any other number of clues thereafter? Three points. The Girl Redo Bonanza is proudly sponsored by Girl Good Energy. Radio number one. I am an equation. My expression is a polynomial. I normally involve a trinomial expression. I am a rather popular equation. There is a simple and popular algorithm for my solution. I am about the most studied equation in the SHS mathematics curriculum. Who am I? St. Louis Senior High School. Quadratic equation. Yes. Next riddle. We have been symbols of beauty in most civilizations of the world. As gifts, we serve as expressions of affection. Yes, St. Louis. Flowers. Flowers. Is Clue. 
I was. Clue, I was on clue number two, so four points. Four points. Next riddle. Next riddle. I am a gaseous pollutant. I am a pollutant formed from another pollutant. I have a pungent odor. Ebuakwa State College. Sulfur dioxide. No. I am a pollutant in the troposphere and a protectant in the stratosphere. Alisa Del College. Ozone. Ozone is correct. The last riddle. I am a physical quantity. I am a scalar quantity. I equal the rate of energy. I equal the rate of energy. Yes. Power. No. I equal the rate of energy decrease with respect to volume under suitable conditions. I have something to do with molecular collisions with surfaces. Alisa Del College. Pressure. Pressure is correct. And that's the end of round five. Of the contest, Ebuakwa State College 19 points, Adisadel College 23 points, St. Louis Senior High School 53 points. Thank you for thank you for joining us for this contest. Congratulations, St. Louis Senior High School, for winning this contest.